Son's blessings, Biko. You come to discuss friend Famia's missing explorers, yes? Only the scent of conspiracy. But for now, the scent is enough. The Dragonstar Caravan Company, a dishonest flock of thugs and traitors, funnels information to someone outside Lomoth. Notes on Cyrodiil Collection's business dealings, I think. Not yet, but that is soon to change. The orc Lozwerg, who watches my eggkin play Tiba Enu. He serves the Dragonstar Caravan Company, a courier, I think. He carries a letter filled with his tradekin secrets. With your help, I will take it. I do not need to convince you? That is good, if a little disconcerting. Lozwerg shows loud, obnoxious interest in our game Tiba Enu. Ask him to explain the rules. While he growls and rants, I will take the letter from his pocket. Simple, I think. Are you gonna play or what? What's the holdup? Tiba Inu? Yeah, more like Tiba E. You know, stupid. This game's a joke. No tusk jabs, no eye gouges. Just a bunch. I have got no tusking idea, and neither do these lizards. When I got here, they were all just lying there. Then all of a sudden, half of them stood up and started slapping their tails, croaking like mad and kicking balls around. I don't know, half a dozen maybe? They were bouncing them off that rock, and then the other team started hooting and slapping their chests like monkeys. They rushed the hill, formed a circle around a rock, and started standing on their heads. They started singing. Then one of them shouted, Enu! And everyone flopped over like they were dead. They laid there for 15 minutes, then the game was over, I guess. Very well done. You must be half river boa, Biko. Lozwerg looked hypnotized. No, no, I give you too much credit. He has a brain like a bone trout. But my tongue wanders. Let me read this. Oh, this is... Yes, this may rattle the cattails. It is not just notes on business dealings. It is a description of friend Famia, where she walks, who she speaks with, what she eats, and so on. I had no idea she ate so many snails. On Famia and her explorer kin also, I think. We cannot be sure, though. Simple Lozwerg carried only this letter. I know a place where more information can be found, but you will have to go alone. The Dragonstar Depot in Lilmoth. I leased them the land. They were very pleased. Until it sunk. Now they slop around in there like angry mud moles. No one is welcome. Least of all me. I should tell you, the Dragonstar Dryskins are not over fond of uninvited guests. If they see you, they will probably shout or ring bells or run in silly circles. So be cautious. And please try not to kill anyone. It always leads to headaches. In the chilly lake we call negotiation, a good reputation is like a sturdy raft. A bad reputation is like a stone tied to your tail. Saxley do not drown, but it is very difficult to see at the bottom of a lake. I yes, as the depot is sinking, the fence up against the swamp is in poor repair. There is a spot near the back of the camp where you can get in, but not out. This may be better than going in the front, yes? It is like I said before, 
I wish to keep friend Famia safe. Ha, so you know about the Remnant too. Some rumors are like Willow Vipers, Biko, well hidden and best left alone. A conversation for another time, I think. It started with Domitia Nausicaa. She oversees the Dragonstar Caravan Company's affairs here in Merkmire. We made a bargain, a land deal. I negotiated in good faith, but she was lazy and inattentive, and so missed key details. Yes, she and her tradekin arrived during the dry season. She told me that they wished to build a trade depot on the Fen Island south of Lilmoth. I agreed to lease the land in exchange for the return of some treaties her company acquired years ago. I paper the walls of my home with evidence of dry-skin treachery. That is a joke. Documents hold power in the Ojo world, especially old documents. Taken alone, they are mostly worthless, but combined with threat of conflict, they can be useful. Ojo, people who do not speak the root's tongue. A kinder word for outsider. Well, not so kind in some circles. For Domitia, yes. The island flooded as it always does during the wet knee season. She grew furious, called me a swindler. Now they throw rocks at me any time I stray near the depot. It is the calm back of the storm. We must pick up the pieces and continue, despite all of these. All right, Chuxu, you can do this. Those of Saxleil generally choose to live in tribes based around a history. You had your chance to leave. Now I'm calling the guard. Hey, you! Who are you? What are you doing in there? Inu Kal Soku Hoto Grill. on their way. Best get out before they clear you out.
You had your chance to leave. Now I'm calling the guard. I wonder how long it will take the guard to respond to my call. Success? Do not let my lack of dancing and cheering fool you. I am very impressed. I did not think you would secure the clues we need so quickly. How that is good. Taking a life closes more doors than it opens. A valuable lesson that goes largely unheeded by the Lilmoth Oljel and my Naga cousins. But again, my tongue wanders. We should... The blackguards? Kayok, they are a cruel bunch. Mostly tribeless Nagas and Dryskin Ogels. So, the Dragonstar Caravan Company provides spy reports to the Blackguards. Then the Blackguards snatch up the explorers when they stray outside the city walls. It is Deadwater make, but a Deadwater Naga would never give up a weapon willingly. Perhaps the Blackguards try to abduct Deadwater warriors too. I cannot be sure. I have heard nothing, but the Deadwater tribe never admits weakness. My doubt spine quivers, but there is only one way to find out. I will send word to my dead water friend, Jaxic Orn. You should return to Famia. Tell her what we discovered and encourage her to stay indoors. She will be safer there, I think. A murder in the heart of Lilmoth. Yes, that would be Jaxic Orn, I think. A call or war captain of the dead water tribe. Perhaps she came looking for that weapon you recovered. Jaxic and I are good friends. She would never admit it, though. Yes, why would I not be? Things are not so simple here, Biko. Naga warriors kill and kidnap and steal, yes. But we are all children of the root. If the Hist wills it, Jaxic might even kill me eventually. But she will still be my friend. Oh yes, definitely. Like I said, there are no guarantees with the Deadwater tribe. It is like dealing with one of your stray bark dogs, I think. Scra huh? oh, you're back. Excellent! Did you find Zukas? Any word on my missing explorers? Blackguards? Oh, those ill-mannered brutes are the worst kind of trouble. I have more unwelcome news. Our companions, Zadaza and Kirstaleth, have also gone missing. Zadaza went to conduct her own investigation. Kirstaleth decided to tag along. Really? I can't imagine that they'd be enthusiastic about helping us, but I suppose Zukas would know best. Before you go, would you mind sharing what you've learned with someone else? Cyrodiilic Collection's primary benefactor is just upstairs. Oh, goodness. I never even mentioned her before, did I? Her name is Cassandra, a wealthy antiquarian of great renown. 
This is the adventurer you mentioned, Famia. Excellent. Greetings. I am Cassandra. I regret that it's taken me so long to make your acquaintance. Famia told me all about your heroics in the Zanmir. Very well. I do hope you will exercise caution. The blackguards are not particularly bright, but what they lack in intellect they make up for in brute strength. Our friend Zucus, for all his many virtues, is not a warrior. Yes, I'm familiar with Jaxic Orn, a very proud warrior. Hopefully, not too proud. If we have common cause with the Deadwater tribe, it only makes sense to cooperate. Blackguards. Hmm. Unwelcome news, isn't it, Whiptail? I'll handle it. Give me two hours. No, no. Our new friend has the situation well in hand. Welcome to my home, Biko. You arrived just in time. I arranged a meeting with my dead water friend, Jaxic Orn. She is very proud, so we must use a breeze-light touch. This Cassandra, yes. You and Famia would have to speak to her, I guess. I am glad she sees the wisdom in talking to the dead water tribe. Cassandra has many flaws, but stupidity is not among them. You need me to describe them? She wears her flaws like I wear my feathers. Cassandra is vexovite. You would say persnickety, I think? Well, you would probably not say that. That is a very stupid word. But you take my meaning. She is very particular. For Cassandra, all the world is a mess. She loves clean angles, good posture, fitting things snug in tiny boxes. It is a very dry way to live, but who am I to judge? She probably thinks I am lazy because I sleep 14 hours a day. I see their approach. You make me wait too long, Zucas. The Deadwater tribe goes to war with the Blackguards, yes. I hunt one of them even now. But we do not need or want your help. Now, go back to your coast town, Ogel. The swamp will eat you if you do not. So, it is true. The Blackguards take hostages from the Deadwater tribe as well. As I said, Jaxic is very proud, but she would be a valuable ally if we could convince her to let us help. Yes, she said she was hunting a blackguard even now, right? Did you see how her throat fin spread? How her pupils dilated and her tail stiffened as she turned to leave? Her prey is very, very close. We only need to follow her. We hunt the hunter. Scan the swamp for the bent reeds and broken fronds she leaves in her wake. Crouch down, Biko. Look for bent stalks, torn leaves, or muddy prints. Should be easy. Jaxic Orn rarely sneaks around danger. She goes through it, always.
who's been in my jaws and bottles again. Jaxic, approach carefully. I grind my fangs. Following a dead water call is the act of a fool or a maniac. Sojay says fools and maniacs both bleed red. I will repeat myself. Once. The Ogel stands its ground. Brave. Or stupid. A flock of flat-toothed blackguards took refuge in this ravine. They snatched up some of my egg kin, your allies too, and threw them in cages. Now, I narrow my eyes. You and the Brightthroat wish to join me on this raid rather than pick the bones when the work is done. Fine. Finally, you speak sense. So it's a fight? Hmm. I fight best from the shadows, Biko. I leave the direct approach to you. Elixir is potent.
you. Thank Ifray. Please get us out of here. Run, you mudlegs. Zadazai's done with this place. So, these dry skins are good for something, after all. I hate this swamp. I'm never coming back. We plundered a cargo ship, and all I got was a sack of flour. <laughs> isn't profitable, I bet I could sell this extract to the merchants in Lilmar. Step away, bright throat. This one belongs to the Deadwater tribe. This one is known to us, Ogel, a blackguard savage who led the raid on our people. Now, in our hist's mighty name, I will hack it dead. I roll my eyes. Murder? When you gut a fish, is it murder? No. I bare my teeth. A Naga prays for repercussions daily, outsider. Laggards slither about in Deadwater territory often. Too often. Perhaps finding this Ogel in pieces will finally lure them into open combat. As always, Jexic's beady Naga eyes see only vengeance and mayhem. I see opportunity. This blackguard is a survivor. Survivors are useful. If she returns to her swordkin with tales of what she witnessed here, it could discourage future attacks. Ha! Huh. How quickly Jexic forgets she is a kidnapper herself. The blackguards do not know the Deadwater tribe as I do. Let this dryskin tell her tale. These Argonians are, are crazy! Please! You can't let them kill me. I, I surrendered. I had nothing to do with the abduction of that lizard's people. I, I swear it. How in oblivion should I know? Orders came down to watch the captives. I, I didn't ask why. Maybe I, I should have, but I've got a daughter at home. If I don't follow orders, she doesn't eat. Mara's mercy. You'd let that Naga murder a prisoner. Just... Let me think. All right. There was an interrogator who grilled a few of the captives. Something about a remnant. Yes, the remnant of Argon. He was asking everyone about it, even the Nagas. Yes, some Argonian relic, maybe? I really have no idea what the remnant is. Word is... There's someone with a heavy purse willing to pay out a fortune for any information, but that's all I know. So the blackguards seek the remnant. That is unwelcome news. Even so, killing a single bound prisoner will save no lives. Friend Jaxic thinks it is justice. It is not. I cannot be sure, but that is no bad thing. Nothing leads to more death than the need for certainty. You cut down many blackguards and laid waste to their operation. Let this dryskin describe it to her friends. The this savage lies as easily as it breathes. Look at its eyes, the sweat on its brow. It stinks of deceit and cowardice. Now it speaks of the remnant of Argon. It must die. I am not. 
You showed cunning in tracking me and strength during the raid. To see you falter now, in the face of some blubbering, treacherous dry skin, would turn my stomach. So the blackguard. I cannot be. Brave, Ogel. But foolish. Thank you. I, I'm finished with the blackguards. You have my word. You made the right decision, Biko. Thank you. So, the Ogels have learned about the remnant of Argon. That is frustrating. Something I cannot discuss, for now. Return to Famia and tell her this. She is a friend to the Saxleil. But the remnant is not some stone cup or golden idol. It is something much greater and more dangerous. I hiss with fury. How did these Ogel beasts learn about the remnant? We will find out, Jaxic, provided you do not kill them all. That's my coin purse, and you know it. Your coin purse? It is I who found out, and so it is now my coin purse. You're back! Fabulous! Some of my missing friends already tracked me down, telling tales of a daring, fiery rescue. <laughs> Marvelous! So the Deadwater tribe helped you after all? What a fascinating development. Between your heroism and Jaxic Orn's raw strength, I'm sure you showed those brutes what for. Well then, there's not a moment to lose. We will redouble our efforts. We cannot allow those thugs to claim something as valuable as the Remnant. Well, no surprise there. Even so, they must understand we only mean to help. Zukas knows my motives are pure, and this Deadwater warrior proved she's willing to collaborate when the situation requires it. We'll win them over. I I'm sure of it. So, you return victorious. You have my most sincere gratitude, and that of the explorers you rescued. Now, as to the Blackguards, we should assume that they learned a great deal from our friends and the Deadwater Warriors. Wouldn't you agree? Unfortunate. I can tell you, as an expert of Argonian archaeology, the idea of one of those ignorant thugs handling such a valuable antiquity makes me very uncomfortable. Did they mention why they seek this thing? I have some experience with wealth. Jangling gold in front of a pack of cutthroats is an act of crude desperation. This person is either a fool or a victim of some obsession. We can discuss that in a moment. First, we owe you a significant sum. It's only right that we settle the books on that first. I hope this is sufficient. I assure you, there will be much more if you choose to join us. Once again, you have my thanks. You've done a great deal for us already. I wonder if you're willing to do a bit more? I do. One of your native companions warned you off of it, didn't they? Believe me, I sympathize. But despite my lifestyle, I'm still an Argonian, one with ample means. Who would I be if I didn't use that wealth to help my people? Yes, you are clearly the best at what you do. I can think of no one more qualified to lead this endeavor. Thank you for your efforts thus far, and your achievements to come. I have business in Alton Mirhil. Perhaps we can reconvene there once you've made your inquiries with Zukas.
It is. I spent the greater part of my youth in Cyrodiil. Taking on Imperial dress, name, and customs made things easier. Of course, it makes things here in Merkmire more complicated. One of my life's many ironies. No, I was hatched in Morrowind. You'll forgive me if I don't elaborate. It was a very difficult time, one best forgotten. The Antiquities Market. No surprise there, I'm sure. I know I'm a bit starchy now. But in my youth, I was quite the explorer. I... hardly. The aliens treated my ancestors very poorly. I prefer to think of this as simple reparations. In any case, my business interests are purely philanthropic now. It is, in fact. You have a very keen eye. You should know that the crystal was a tremendous discovery. Vaca stones like this one are very difficult to come by. Famia didn't tell you? Vaca stones are mysterious crystals, not unlike the Aeliad Welkin stones. Our ancestors used them to store the raw magicka that falls from the sun, thus their radiant yellow hue. Powerful relics, to be sure. If an opportunity presents itself, perhaps. I suspect that some ancient Argonian relics require Vaca stones to function. No doomsday devices, though, I promise. An item of tremendous historical significance and arcane power. Very little scholarship exists on the subject, but I do know a little. Our answers about the Hist, their beginnings, their powers, their intentions. All I know for certain is that it does not contain simple coins or ancient bric-a-brac. The remnant is a vessel for great power. We must be cautious and well prepared. Whatever is best for the people of Merkmire. I won't act without their consultation if that's what you're worried about. Again, I may be something of an outsider, but I am still an Argonian. This isn't some purely academic matter for me. I honestly couldn't say. Most of that history was beaten out of my exiles by the Dark Elves centuries before I was born. Slavers take great pains to destroy our racial identity, you see. Makes us easier to control, I suppose. You mean, has the Hist spoken to me? I'd prefer not to talk about that right now. A conversation for another time. 